Hey guys, thanks for cooking with Tammy. As we all know, the holidays can be a bit time consuming, especially when it comes to being in the kitchen. So today I'm coming to you with three quick and easy appetizer ideas. So without further ado, let's get started. Our first appetizer is going to be our macaroni and cheese cups, because in all honesty, who doesn't love macaroni and cheese? Boiling the macaroni as usual, adding a pinch of salt to taste, straining and adding cold water to stop the cooking process. Adding about a tablespoon of olive oil to prevent the pasta from sticking together. On to making the cheese sauce. Adding butter to a sauce pot. When the butter is melted, we're going to add the all-purpose flour and using a whisk to combine both ingredients. Adding small amounts of flour at a time will not only allow the flour to cook through evenly, but also help us achieve a nice rich creamy sauce. Adding half and half and combining. Continuously stirring the sauce will prevent the sauce from becoming lumpy. Adding salt to taste, ground black pepper to taste, and season all to taste. And stirring until all ingredients are combined. Prepping the cheese for the cheese sauce. For this recipe, I'm going to be using monster cheese as well as sharp cheddar. As you can see, I'm cutting each block in half because this recipe only requires a total of eight ounces. Cutting the cheese in cubes to help the melting process go a little faster. At this time, we're going to stir periodically and allow the cheese to melt into the sauce. The sauce was becoming a little too thick, so I decided to add about one third cup of whole milk to loosen up the sauce a bit. If the sauce consistency is to your liking, you can always skip this part. Now that everything is melted and well combined, I'm going to turn off the stove top. At this time, we should be getting ready to preheat our oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. Taking the elbow macaroni and placing it into a large bowl and pouring the cheese sauce on top of the macaroni and combining really well. So because it's the holidays, we're not going to settle for just any ordinary mac and cheese. So to jazz this mac and cheese up a bit, I'm going to add a couple slices of turkey bacon for extra added flavor. Now that we're finished, we're going to add dry parsley flakes and combine once more. Although I'm using a non-stick cupcake pan, I'm going to spray a good amount of non-stick cooking spray for extra added reassurance because I don't want the macaroni cups to stick to the pan. Using a scoop, I'm going to scoop a good amount of macaroni into each cup, just like so. before topping with Italian breadcrumbs and placing it into my preheated 425 degree Fahrenheit oven to bake for about 12 to 14 minutes or until the edges are slightly brown. Now that our macaroni cups are finished baking, we're going to allow it to sit in the pan for about 15 to 20 minutes to cool off before using a bread knife or small spatula, running it along the edges to loosen up the macaroni cups. Moving right along to appetizer number two. I'm going to show you how to make smoked turkey Monterey Jack pinwheels. Honestly guys, this recipe has to be the quickest and easiest recipe on the face of this planet. Using a floured surface, and using Pillsbury pizza crust dough, spreading the dough evenly,
and layering with a good amount of turkey deli slices. You can also use ham if you prefer or any type of deli meat. If you want your pinwheels to be meaty, simply add an extra layer of deli slices. Moving on to the next step, we're going to add a couple slices of Monterey Jack cheese for a nice spicy contrast. Same rules apply, you can add a different type of cheese if you prefer that as well. Now that everything is layered, we're going to roll it tightly. And using a sharp serrated knife, we're going to cut one and a half inch slices, creating our pinwheels. Placing the pinwheels into my preheated 400 degree oven and allowing them to bake for at least 10 to 12 minutes or until golden brown. Now that our pinwheels are out of the oven, we want to jazz it up a bit because once again guys, it is the holidays and appearance is everything. I've added a small amount of butter and minced garlic to the microwave and now that it's melted, I've added dried parsley. Using a little basting brush, we want to spread the butter mixture onto the pinwheels. This will not only enhance the flavor, but it will give it a nice appetizing appearance as well. And last but not least, sprinkling with parsley to give it a nice festive appearance. As you can see guys, something as simple as adding melted butter, minced garlic, and parsley flakes can make the ultimate difference. These appetizers look so appetizing. Anyway guys, moving on to appetizer number three. Let's go. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to make my delicious mini meatball cups. Let's start off with preheating our oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and also take our mini turkey meatballs out of the freezer. Starting off with a small cupcake pan with about 24 slots. Even though it's a non-stick baking pan, I'm going to add non-stick cooking spray for that extra reassurance. Using a floured surface and taking Pillsbury Crescent dough sheet and cutting about 24 squares or as many as you need according to the size of your pan. Taking each individual square and adding it to each individual slot just like this. Once everything is in place, I'm going to press the dough up along the sides of the muffin mold. Sprinkling a small amount of cheese. Taking the meatball and pressing it down gently onto the cheese. And because this is a holiday platter, I will be creating an assortment platter. So taking the first 12 meatballs, I'm going to add tomato basil pasta sauce. And for the other 12, I'm going to add sweet honey barbecue sauce. If you notice, I'm only adding a small amount of sauce because we don't want to cause an overflow. All right, so now that we're finished, we're going to place these beautiful meatball cups into the oven and allow it to bake for about eight to 10 minutes until the dough is golden brown. And taking a four cheese blend, which consists of mozzarella, provolone, Parmesan, and Romano cheese, I'm going to add it to our tomato basil meatballs. And taking the pepper jack cheese, I'm going to add it to our honey barbecue meatballs to create that sweet and spicy contrast. Even though our oven is turned off, obviously it's still hot. So I'm going to place the meatballs back into the oven, allowing the cheese enough time to melt. However, if your meatball cups aren't finished after eight to 10 minutes of baking, you can continue to leave the oven on, top with cheese, and continue baking until the cheese is melted. 